Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Superboy here again with another video for you. But it's actually going to be one of my last videos, not only of this year, but uh, last one in this location as I am uh, moving out in the next few days. But uh, this video is actually rather important and I want to get it out just before Christmas as an early Christmas treat to not only you uh, who watch me, but some very important people that are near and dear to my heart after a, an amazing experience and continuing on experiences with them over this year. And um, last, I have a Christmas present of sorts to the cast and crew of Young Justice. Let's begin. Okay, first things first, I do apologise that this is not anything physical yet due to reasons that will be explained during the video, but at the moment it's all theoretical and in blueprint form. Hopefully soon I will have it done, but I wanted to get this out to you guys for Christmas to show that you guys are very important to not only myself, the fans, uh, and uh, each other and the experiences that we shared. I just wanted to give a little joy and good memories back to you if, uh, if I couldn't give you anything physical. So hopefully the people who are watching this video, not only are the fans, are the cast and crew from Young Justice, namely Jason, Beth, Zeno, Eric, Zira, Cameron, uh, Greg, Brandon, Stephanie, and Christopher Jones, but he knows why he's here, I'll explain it all to you all later. But for those, if you are all watching, do you remember this photo? Yes, all the way back from uh, San Diego Comic Con 2019, some of the best, the best, one of the best experiences of my life when I went backstage with all you guys hang out, had dinner, had some amazing times, and obviously this photo was taken. And I thought I would like to give back that back to you in a way of uh, something you could all enjoy uh, for uh, a bit of time. So what I have originally was planned after this was I was going to get this commissioned with maybe one or two tweaks changed to it. And I was going to get commissioned by Christopher Jones. You guys all know him. He does the Young Justice comics. And we went back and forth and planned this out meticulously of what we were going to do. Unfortunately, Chris wasn't free after Comic-Con uh, of 2019 to Christmas. Um, so couldn't get work onto it at that point. Uh, and then the New Year started. Unfortunately, uh, COVID uh, happened. And also Christopher got... Um, the brilliant job of uh, working on season four with everyone. But the original plan was to do this and give it to you guys early. So everyone, and I mean everyone that I've just said, got to have it in the house for a month. And it isn't just a picture, as I will go into the story now. Yes, we have the original picture of us all as a group. Whale of a time, hands up for season four. Uh, thank you again, Beth, for dragging me into this. I didn't originally plan to have this photo taken, but she brought, brought me into it, and um, it meant a lot to me to the point. But I didn't want to just have this as a picture. I wanted to add a little twist to into it, as I just said. So I thought, hmm, how could I put a little Young Justice spin on this for everyone to remember? So I thought, why not have everyone in their costumes? And I don't mean have you guys as your characters in this photo, as I mean have you guys in your costumes with your faces. Christopher, Christopher said he was all up for this, um, might take a bit of time. Um, we couldn't do it on an A4, so we planned for an A3 landscape shot. The title of it is Extended Family. Not only was this picture going to have everyone as a comic, but I was all, uh, as the characters, I was also going to add quotes for every experience I had with you guys because in the space of the day actually in the space of the last couple of days I had an amazing time uh, with each and every one of you and I had a moment with each and every one of you which has really stuck to me so we were going to expand it to a, 
uh, A4 picture, but around it in the A3, in Young Justice font text, there were going to be quotes and memories I had for each and every one of you. So, going from left to right, first thing so first, we're going to have Stephanie, okay, Artemis, uh, in your post and in your Artemis outfit with the quote, Stephanie, you, uh, you let me have a Wally put a ring on it, and since that was my ring, your family twice over, and then some. And this is calling back to the moment of how, if you remember how Jason proposed to you, that that was my ring, and uh, <laughs> we had a hoot uh, planning that beforehand, and it was a brilliant experience, and you went along with it so nicely. I, I wanted to put that down as, again, that meant so much to me. The other fans seemed to enjoy it as well, because if you can't tell by the screen in the background of the original footage. Um, yeah, so that was my memory for you, uh, for you and me. To Zira, uh, Halo. Oh, love that girl. She's amazing. And continue keeping in contact with her. And thank you for all those times and video chats we had uh, over this year. It's been amazing. Zira. I hope you'll always think of a British accent every time you hear Hello Halo from now on, even if it takes a few tries like the first time. This is calling back to how I was originally uh, coming to Comic-Con and how I was talking to some people who were being there and I've been talking back and forth with Zero of how I love her character and her portrayal. I did mention that I was coming to the ice cream parlor and um, she was excited to uh, to uh, see me and chat with me because we had been going back and forth about trying to plan some uh, charity events, uh, Young Justice related, and she was being great help for that. So I said, I'll be sure to say hello, halo to you. When I first got there, um, she was sit sitting down saying hello to everyone, doing signs and everything. I walked up, did hello, halo, and she said hello. No, and so didn't quite get it the first time. And he said, hello, halo. And then she came back to me with hello, halo in the hello, halo voice. So I had to say, say for a third time, no, no, no. Hello, halo, British accent. And her face lit up and absolute laughs said hello. It's just adorable time. We hugged, had a nice time. And uh, that's what that quote is about. <laughs> Good time, Zira. And again, hello, halo. I hope you remember it with the British accent. Um, next, Jason. My main man, Jason, who knows how much on so many levels this guy is uh, important to me and a good mate of mine. And this proves what an amazing guy he is from this quote. Uh, Jason, you checked on me when I was overwhelmed. And yes, I noticed the uh, Young Justice... Uh, <laughs> gift there. It was not planned when I wrote this down, but I think it rather adds to it. You checked on me when I was overwhelmed that day. You are and shall always be my friend and hero with or without the suit. And this is calling back to when just after we'd taken this photo back in the set, I had lost complete. I was completely overwhelmed with emotions of happiness and joy. And like, so I had to take a seat at a table and I had my hand resting in my face because it was just such an overwhelming of emotions. I'm not normally used to it. And I was there for a few minutes and then I feel this hand on my shoulder. I look up and it's Jason checking on me, asking me if I'm okay. And I asked for a glass of water and we never got it, but still, um, that moment, bam, that. Sealed it as, sealed it as that guy's hero uh friend to forever that man jason that experiment amazing you want that was on your board um next uh zeno zeno will never forget our walk and talk along the bridge and the words you said again this is on the same day as this photo and i got invited to come and ha uh, have a restaurant meal with them as you all know you know um and if you remember what words were said, we were having a back and talk, uh, forth about how Young Justice the series had sa uh, saved my life and changed my life. And he actually said, 
with friends, with family. And I have you as superheroic setting with you, your family. I know it's not in the proper 100% context, but still. I remember the bridge, I remember that moment that happened and what you said. And again, family man, love you in bits. You're going on board. Um, <laughs> next is Eric. Now, if you will notice on the picture, Eric's having a bit of a problem in the uh, being stuck in the background and uh, and Christopher and I had decided we'd, we might have to give you a bit of look. So you were going to be in your blue pe beetle suit flying uh, flying uh, slightly above everyone. And also, uh, I want to add, Eric was being absolute pro about when we were trying to plan this to pass it around because it was going to be pass the parcel. Um, I had been talking about Christopher Jones and stuff, but Eric was also there uh, sort of in the background as we were planning this because he was going to be the first one to have it and then uh, after his month of having it on his wall he would pass it on and then you'd pass it on to the next person and to the next and to the next and there's a, I timed it so there was enough time that everyone would have it for a month including Greg and Brandon and Christopher and so by the end of it I could come and pick it up uh, at next Comic Con and obviously last 2020 Comic Con didn't happen uh, so we aim to have it done by uh, uh, ready for 2021. Eric, fellow Poundland gang f founder and spot connoisseur for life. Uh, Eric, uh, you obviously know what this is about. <laughs> and uh, as uh, for those who need a bit of context, for those who haven't realised, British and one of our shops. We don't have dollar stores, we have Poundland. So, Eric and I officially form the Poundland Gang. And I, we've got the members, we've got the list, most of the people who were there. Uh, Zeno was our last member to be initiated. He is a Poundland Gang member. But there is a list of people who know, uh, uh, who are part of that member. But Eric is a co-founder along with myself for that. So, Poundland Gang, co-founder for life. And as for the Spotted Dick, we have a pudding called Spotted Dick. He needed to show, see a photo of Spotted Dick, so I sent him a photo of Spotted Dick outside of Poundland. <laughs> well, right when I got back after uh, after the Comic Con, I sent a message to my parents, guy, could you just buy me some Spotted Dick? And yep, there it was when I got back. So off I went, found myself a Poundland, Spotted Dick, photo, cha-ching, then get back to Eric. So. Eric, uh, thanks for all the help um, for that. Again, brilliant memory. Uh, next one. Cameron, you were the first Robin I ever met and now the number one Robin in my book until I die. And this is because Cameron was one of the first people I ever met from a show and I went out, uh, had a meal with him uh, with some other friends of mine that I've met um, from the Unjust Fandom, Ariel Horn, uh, Rich Howard from the Unjustice Realm podcast. Uh, he was there and we all had a lovely day. We all had a lovely time. Uh, for like 30 seconds, I did, I'm going to admit 30 seconds, I didn't actually realise who he was until I actually heard him and then there's like, bam, there. But obviously, don't be completely professional. These people are people. I'm not going to go down that for them. But we had such an amazing time after that. We, uh, and so on, Rich and I and Cameron actually met up on the next day and he got us a poster. We were walking around um, uh, the hall and Cameron actually managed to get us some posters as well. So good on you, Cameron. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm ever asked which Robin I like the most, it's going to be a 16 Tim Drake Robin because Cameron, you're the man. Uh, Chris. Christopher Jones, obviously being the artist, he was going to get a reference to this and we were going to add him as doing the portrait um, in the side bar here. Uh, and he was going to have, Chris, you put my heart and soul and friends to paper as he now, as he known, as he was known, because he was planning this. And obviously, once we get this completed at some point, that will be true. Oh, and if you were wondering what superhero outfit I was going to be wearing, Blue Lantern for life. 
Yes, for personal reasons, Hope, Blue Lantern, that's my thing. I'll never give it up. If I ever became a superhero in DC Universe, Blue Lantern is my man. And I'd uh, given Chris a rough that idea of my costume and design, and it's like a mixture of blue, uh, blue lantern colors with a nice jacket and uh, some uh, sword constructs um, hilts uh, around the back. So that was what I was, what was going to be. I was going to be uh, dress myself up as a blue lantern. Uh, moving on. To Brandon and Greg. Now you might not have been on the in this photo, Greg. Uh, oh, Brandon, but you were still there and you still took part in conversations with me. And I love you for that. Even even got, even though you guys get pelted with those fan things uh, every waking day, and you put up with one fan whilst at dinner. So yeah, you guys are going on this. Uh, as well. To Brandon and Greg, you extended my family. Thank you. And obviously that is just about all these experiences I've had with these people and that wouldn't have happened without you guys uh, for creating such an amazing show and bringing this, these cast and crew together and bringing my friends together as well. And uh, that leaves the best for last because the person who the entire reason for having this video is because of Beth. Now, Beth is uh, not one of the mainstream characters, but she is a voice of Young Justice and plays uh, several of the secondary characters, including the scientists from Young Justice. But it is because of Beth. And if you read the quote here, Beth, you dragged me from the sidelines into this photo. Well, now I'm dragging you into the family. So yes, Beth, I know you don't have a superhero costume, but we were still gonna put you in there in your scientist outfit. Because again, drag, I mean, I was just happy to have a photo taken with everyone. And she grabbed me by the hand after just seeing all the, the amazing fun I had. She grabbed me by the hand, pulled me into this shot. And I had this photo. No one else did a group shot with this as a fan. Everyone else, cast and crew, all took a shot like doing this. And FYI, I was the guy who inspired everyone doing that. Um, from ev when everyone was sitting down after season four had been announced. They had just come off, they were all sitting down, having photos taken. I suggested, guys, four, four. And they all put their hands up. So, yes. Um, but Beth, thank you so much. You gave me this photo. You gave me some extra friends and family. Thank you very much. And, and I know it's not ready yet. And I'm really, really, really trying to get it done. We... Christopher is just very, very busy with Team 4 right now and COVID. I'm not going to put any reference strain on him to do this. We have sorted out price. The plans have already been made out there. Um, when he has officially unlocked the due commissions, we'll start on it. But for now, I'm not going to pressure the man to do something he's not ready to do. He's, he's up for it. I know he is. Big talk. But yeah. I'm hoping this uh, memory is enough of a present for you guys uh, this Christmas. And um, honestly, you guys uh, made an absolutely wonderful experience uh, for me. And I have been trying to get this sorted for you for so long. And I can't, couldn't really keep it any longer of what, what you guys did. So I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I hope to have it ready and finished for you sometime uh, in the coming future. And I hope to all see you again next year at uh, San Diego Comic Con. So until then, my friends, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, from the fans. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, let hope burn bright. Goodbye.